The sacred dwelling place of Merseybeat is a dilapidated wooden altar resting atop a towering dome of mildewed stonework. As the Cavern Club eagerly awaits the arrival of the Beatles, a new sensation in music, spotlights glimmer in the two silvery mirrors of the vintage microphones from the 1960s. Brian Epstein, a local Liverpool millionaire, removes his cashmere coat and enters the nervous crowd. Scylla White, or Scylla Black, as she would be known, waits in the hat check cubby. Epstein looks gorgeous in a tailored suit, silk tie, and calfskin shoes. A skiffle band may be playing, but Epstein still can't take his gaze off the guys who are preparing to enthrall the lunchtime audience. As they stomp onto the stage, the unruly quartet mutters a few jokes before starting to play a version of Some Other Guy, a famous R&B song by Malcolm Beat. Upon learning that they would be larger than Elvis, Epstein is captivated. The Beatles' birthplace is recreated in its original shape on that historic day, November 9, 1961, in the new British music movie Midas Man, which is about the mastermind behind the band. Until the movie opens in cinemas this autumn, you may see it here first. With the help of Epstein, who taught the Beatles their signature straight-backed bow, the black mohair suits he had them wear, and the haircuts given to them by his personal hairdresser, the Beatles quickly rose to international fame. His vision and unwavering dedication would make him the perfect fifth member to round out the Fab Four. Along with his other gang members, he brought them unprecedented levels of success. However, his fame has started to wane in the past two decades alone. Despite the fact that he passed away at the age of 32, Audiences expecting to see him in his 80s as Midas Man's credits roll are likely incorrect. The capacity to, if you may use the term, travel through time was his special talent. When he heard four disheveled rockers in 1961 covering American tunes, he knew he had found the music of the future. In Midas Man, this alchemical process is crucial. From when young Epstein convinces his skeptical father to let him sell recordings out of the back of the family furniture business until the roaring Beatlemania forced his protégés to travel by armored car, it takes us on a wild ride. Along these lines, music is not what we listen to, it's who we are, film quote. His one-of-a-kind talent was to breathe fresh life into that timeless truth. 